Speaking of being happy, Mark, it is good to have you back. Did you enjoy your break? I had an absolutely fantastic break. Spent lots of time with the family and we developed this recipe for you today. Ice blocks, or I like to call them ice pops. Um, absolutely easy as pie to do. You know, use whatever's in season. We've got these fantastic, um, fantastic fruit here. Bananas, strawberries, mangoes, pineapples. You know, and we can just set them with any liquid you want. I've got some ginger beer here. I'm going to make some lemonade. We've got some coconut milk. They're really easy. I'm going to show you the key how to make fantastic ice blops for the whole family. Over to you guys. Okay, Mark, <laughs> welcome. Um, because Thank we you. said hi to you right at the start of the show, but here we are in the cafe kitchen and ice blocks right in time because the weather I think is going to get good. Right, yeah, finally the weather is better <laughs> yeah. and there's nothing perfect, more perfect than summer to have a nice cold ice block. And what's better? Make it yourself. You know, yeah. you can control the amount of sugar you put in there, the flavours you put in there, you know, you can go to town on these and they're so easy to do. So I'm going to show you four different flavours today. Right, so first one, we're going to do a nice citrusy one. Yep. Um, oranges here and uh, pink grapefruit. So just going to segment this orange. So just top and tail it and then a sharp knife, you're just going around the peel. Right. I'm you pleased you're doing it. I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't been in the kitchen <laughs> yeah. for a while. And then all you're going to do is just uh, go between the, um, uh, the skins there, the membranes, right. and then you just get these nice little segments. Just be careful when you're doing this, obviously, if you've got mm. a sharp knife. Yeah, no, I think you at home will probably not be as fast <laughs> as Mark here. That is super yeah. fast. So, so we're just going to do this. We're going to do the same to the pink grapefruit as well. And then with the orange, just give it a really good squeeze and just get all that juice out there. And that's all that beautiful fresh orange here. Oh, and I'm going to use that. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And we're going to use that to fill uh, and suspend all the fruit in the ice blocks. OK, well, look, I'm pretty impressed because when I did read uh, that you were making ice blocks, I was like, oh, OK, he's going to freeze some water. <laughs> but no, this is, fan this is fancy ass, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little bit more to, the, to that. Right, so we've got a nice citrusy one there, and then we're also going to make a tropical one as well. So I've got some banana, um, some pineapple, and some mango as well. So we're going to chop yeah. all that up, pop that in, and then we're going to use some coconut milk to suspend it and freeze it in there, you know? So it's nice and tropical. So that's going to be really cool. So I'm going to make that next. Right, so you get to control what you're putting in, which is great. So yeah. kids enjoy different flavours exactly. and you can control the, the, you know, the sugar intake. But how do you, you know, is there a secret to making it actually stay in an ice block form? Uh, you know, yeah, sometimes you make them at home. <laughs> yeah, you make them at home and they just they drip away really fast. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously we, we're using different methods to, uh, to set it and suspend the ice lollies. Um, but there's a little uh, tip I'm going to show you after. We're going to make a little bit of jelly. So you can make the jelly yourself by just making a, 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 you know, a fruit-flavoured liquid and put some gelatin in it. Or you can just buy off-the-shelf yeah. shelf jelly and just dissolve it and use that to set your fruit and suspend your fruit in your mould, uh. freeze it, and then for all the little kids out there, you know, they're going to eat it and they're a little bit slower. And normally after about five minutes, it's, they're always all, all over the face all and them. all over the clothes yeah. and everything. Yeah. But just because you've got that jelly suspending it, if it does melt, it holds together. Ah, brilliant. That's why I love you, yeah. Mark. Thinking all the time. It's because you've got kids, you know, experience. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right, so you can... Um, obviously make a bit of a mess. And this is great fun for the kids, you know. Yeah. They, they can make a mess and take as long as they want. Good. I'm, know, just, so I'm just easing into it. You can yeah, do all exactly. the work today. Yeah. So just roughly chop it. Yeah. And then, you know, you're just going to pop it pop it in there, you know, fill it up, yep. and just put any flavours you want in there, you know? If you want a bit of lime in there, you can put some in for a nice little hit. Yum. You know, if you want to put some strawberries in there, you know, anything you want. And then the juice... You know, you're just going to pour that in, put some more segments in there, and then all you do, put the lid on and then pop it in the freezer. So same again with the mango, the banana. Um, we've got some strawberries and blueberries. We're going to suspend that in the jelly, and then we're going to do a mixture. We've got all these beautiful stone fruits coming in now, nectarines, nice. apricots, plums. Yeah. You know, just do a nice mix, and then we're going to make a homemade lemonade, yeah. which is just, you just grate some lemons into some um, uh, lemon juice, a little bit of sugar. I'm going to put some ginger beer in there as well for a nice little sparkle Yum. and a gingery hit. Uh, make it as easy or as complicated as you want. Well, yeah. It is smelling so summery right here. And this is fantastic because the weather is starting to warm up finally. So save yourself some money. <laughs> Get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Okay, we are back in the cafe kitchen. Mark's been busy chopping up a whole lot of fruit. This is good because, you know, fruit can be expensive out of season, but we're in season now. You can pick it up nice and cheaply and make delicious frozen ice blocks. Exactly, yeah. Make them, put them in the freezer, they're ready to go. Yeah, and the kids will love it too, won't they? And the adults. <laughs> Especially well, yeah. ones like this. <laughs> yeah, and that's the beauty of it, you know. You make some for the kids, put the leftover fruit, you can make some more, put some champagne in, a little bit of vodka in there. 
Always put some water in with the alcohol so it does freeze properly and oh, don't get it mixed it... up with the kids. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thanks for that tip on the alcohol <laughs> one. Um, OK, everything in moderation, though, kids and adults. Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, so, so, you know, we're doing a mixed one here, which is really good, and then we're going to make this lemonade. So I've got a little bit of water in here. Yep. Um, I'm just going to zest some uh, lemon zest in there. You can bring that to the boil okay. just to infuse it. And then we'll put a little lemon juice in there. So you can keep this as a straight lemonade by just adding a little bit of sugar now. But I like to put a little bit of uh, ginger beer in there. Do I turn it on? Yeah, yep. please. So you can put some ginger beer in there because it's a nice ginger hit as well. And But do remember there is a bit of sugar in there. OK. You know, we're diluting it with a bit of water with the lemon. So just do it to taste now. OK, great. So that's going to be a uh, filling. We've got some water on here. Mm -hmm. You can pour probably some of that water in there. And we're going to make this jelly. OK. OK, so you can pour it in there. Give it a good stir around. And we'll chop some strawberries for the strawberry and blueberry jelly. Got me working already. Is that enough water? Uh, yep, no, that's yep. perfect. Okay, so make cool. sure it's all dissolved, and then we'll just pour it on top. So we can get these in the freezer. They're only small, so probably about two to three hours, you know, they'll be frozen solid. Right. So you can make them in the morning. And just one more thing I need to know about this one here that we're brewing up. Yep. Obviously, you need it to cool down, don't you, before you pour it over, or does it not matter? Uh, yeah, it's best to cool it down a little right. bit. You don't, okay, don't cool. pour it over boiling, otherwise you'll start softening the fruit. All oh, right, so you don't have to wait for it to go cold, cold? No, no, it's just fine. Lukewarm, it, well, yeah. it's just going to take longer in the freezer. OK, cool. Sweet. Nice. OK, geez, you were jamming cool. them full of fruit. This is well, good. Yeah, and we keep all the fruit in there. Right, then we've got some pineapple, for the tropical one. Mm -hmm. A little bit of mango. Yum. Get smells that so good in here. First day back. And a little bit of mint, mint. as well. Nice. All right. Just gives it a bit of flavour. Not too much, you know, because kids don't like green things. And some coconut milk. OK, will that freeze? Yep. OK, cool. Nice. I've got yeah. your gelatin. And then, yeah, so you can pour it into that one there. OK, and cool. Over our fruity blue ones. One. OK. And then we can put a little bit of banana on top. Oh, yeah. There you go. Pop the lids in, pop it in the freezer, a couple of hours, you are ready to go. Fantastic. Looking OK, good, so there you go, you've given us lots of tips. We're using all the fruit that is in season. Smells incredible. Kids are going to love it. Nice and quick as well. And a bit of leftover fruit so you can pick away as you wait for the ice <laughs> blocks to freeze. Fantastic work, Mark. Thank you so much. <laughs> these are my moves. Look at these, <laughs> you know. Pull them out of the freezer a couple of minutes before you need them. Give them a little twist. They just loosen. They come out. Look at that. Ooh. Absolutely fantastic. Fancy. So we've got four flavours here, so you can pick one. Oh, nice just... work. Which is the ginger one? Uh, good <laughs> question. Uh, this one. OK, I'm going with that one. Thank I want the coconut much. milk one. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. and look at the strawberry one. Good yeah. work. OK. That's for the jelly. Good start to the year, Mark. What are you making tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we've got chicken on the menu, coco van, so it's just a basic posh casserole. Oh, oh nice.